Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOneRabbits.com and in today's video I thought I'd give you a little bit of an overlook on my rabbit's grooming routine. So the first thing I'm doing here is weighing Sterling and I'm just gonna weigh each bunny before I groom them. If you guys are curious, Sterling weighed six pounds, four ounces. Then I just go ahead and use my hair buster to groom Sterling. This is the first brush that I use on my bunnies. Um, it does kind of look like I'm pushing really hard when I'm grooming the bunnies, but I I promise I'm not. His fur is just moving when I am pushing the brush across it. So I am not pushing down hard. I'm not pulling his fur. Um, I'm actually really gentle when I brush and I make sure that the brush is very horizontal and so that it's not poking him. Something else that I do while I am grooming the bunnies is I do kind of look at their skin um, throughout the brushing process just to make sure their skin is nice and healthy. Next, I'm going in with my Furminator. I love this brush as well. It also helps get some of that um, fur that is falling out. Um, it is kind of an expensive brush, but my sister actually got it for our family, so I kind of got it for free. But it is a really, really, really nice brush. I would say the Furminator and the Hair Buster are like a necessity if you have rabbits. Another thing I recommend when grooming rabbits is to have like, some clothes that you really don't care about on. So I just wear like a really old t-shirt that I can just take off after I'm done grooming them. So that, um, cause you're gonna be covered in hair, at least I'm always covered in hair. Even your pants are probably gonna be covered in hair, so I'll just warn you about that. Uh, make sure you have a lint roller so you can lint roll yourself afterwards. I also like to put my hair up in a bun or a ponytail for those of you who have long hair. Um, this is just because when I'm like bending over and clipping nails or brushing, my hair kind of gets in my line of vision. So um, that's just a tip that I really like to use. So then at the end, I am using this rubber brush to get all of the surface hair that is just kind of sitting on the surface of his body. I love this brush just to end the grooming session and it's really soft. People always ask me where I got it. I got it years and years ago and I don't think you can buy it in stores, but they have so many dog and cat brushes like this at pet stores or I've seen them a lot at like TJ Maxx. Um, basically anything that's like a rubber type brush would do the exact same thing as this thing. So as you can see by this giant fur pile, Sterling was shedding a ton. Um, but then I went ahead and clipped his nails, but I didn't show that part because my body was blocking the view the entire time. So then I went ahead and grabbed Ebony. She was three pounds, 11 ounces for those wondering. So then I went ahead and brushed Ebony. As you can see, I do put a towel over part of her head and that is because this is something that calms her down a lot. Uh, grooming is something that's very stressful for her. I know in her previous home, it was the reason they got rid of her was because she was biting people when she was being groomed. So I think it's just a very stressful event for her. So I cover her head and it calms her down a lot. And then I quickly brush her. I don't do like an in-depth groom um, simply because it is kind of more stressful for her. So I just use the hair buster and quickly get as much fur as I can off of her. And then I go ahead and clip her nails. Then I go ahead and get Lulu. She is currently three pounds, 14 ounces. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the hair buster on her. She is extremely shedding right now. She's blowing her entire coat. Uh, I've never seen a rabbit blow their coat this quickly. Um, honestly, I've never seen a rabbit shed this quickly and I don't know if it's cause she's older and her shedding pattern's just changing. I'm not really sure. So I just go ahead and use my fingers to kind of pluck out the hair that is already falling out. And then I go ahead and uh, clip her nails as well. And that is the fur from all of my bunnies. I just thought it was really cute, all the different colors. So I just kind of like 
put them together and took a picture. So that's basically it for today's video. I thought you guys might enjoy seeing my grooming process. If you guys want to see an in-depth video on me trimming my rabbit's nails, I have a how-to video that I'll link in the iCards and at the end of this video, as I know it's really hard for some people to clip rabbit's nails. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you very soon on a new one. Bye!